Welcome to our lesson about rendering. Let's begin by activating Inventor Studio. Now let's click on the Render Image tool. The Render Image dialog window opens. First, we can specify the size of our output in pixels manually, or we can select from these predefined sizes. Let's select 640 by 480. Below, we select the view that we're going to output, either the current view or the view provided by each of the cameras that we've set up. Let's render the current view. Next, we select a lighting style from this drop down menu. Tabletop is pre selected here since we selected it in our previous tutorial. Now we choose a scene style. Currently, nothing is selected, so we'll just stick with the current background. Under Render Type, we can select from Shaded or Illustration. The Shaded option used to be called Realistic in the previous version of Adventor. Let's move to the Output tab now. We check here to save the rendered image to a file. A Save As dialog window opens, and let's cancel out of it for now. Now if you leave this option unchecked, we can just render to a temporary location automatically. We're still able to save the image afterward if we want to. Down below, we've got the anti-aliasing options. They are no anti-aliasing, low anti-aliasing, high anti-aliasing, and highest anti-aliasing. The higher the setting, the higher the quality of the image, and the slower the rendering process is going to be. So for this reason, it's usually a good idea to save a high anti-alias setting for your final rendering. Otherwise, your rendering process will just be too slow. Let's go take a look at some of the options on the Style tab. Currently, there's only one option here, True Reflection. If this is checked, it reflects your objects onto the scene and basically makes your scene look more realistic. This option also slows down the rendering process considerably. It's definitely another option to leave unchecked until you're ready for final rendering. The algorithms required to calculate the multiple reflections are CPU intensive. Let's return to the General tab now. From the Render Type drop-down menu, let's select Illustration. Now let's go back to the Style tab. It's got considerably more options now. If no color is selected for the Color Fill source, Inventor removes color and renders the contours. We can also choose to render the colors from the Surface Style or specify a color right here. If surface style or a specific color is selected, then we can drag this slider to adjust the level of quality from 1 to 10. In the Edges section, we can check here to show outline edges and interior edges. Let's return to the General tab. Let's go back to the Shaded option. To speed up the rendering process, I'm going to set the anti-aliasing to None. And let's click the Render button. Inventor Studio renders our image. The status bar indicates our progress. OK, you can see from looking at my glass that I've got a little too much light. So let's close that rendering, and then let's go back and edit our lighting style. I'm going to reduce the overall brightness to about 70%. Let's click Save, and then click Done. Now let's click on Render Image, and render it again. Inventor processes our request. This rendering will be pretty quick. If I set my anti-aliasing higher or some of the other CPU-intensive processes, it'll take quite a bit longer than this. And the rendering process is finished. Let's close our image. Now let's try outputting it again, this time with high anti-aliasing. From the Style tab, let's check True Reflection. And let's click Render. Now, as you can see from the status bar, the rendering process is significantly slower. OK, it's finished, and here is our updated image. The quality is significantly higher, and we do see the reflections as well. If we're satisfied, let's click Save. Navigate, save the file. For now, I'll cancel out of this window. And let's close our rendered output. Let's go back to the General tab. From the Render Type drop-down menu, let's choose Illustration. Now let's go to the Style tab. For the Color Fill source, let's try Surface Style. 
We'll increase the quality level to 10. And let's enable the display of outline edges here by checking here. Now let's click Render. As you see, the rendering is significantly faster. And here's our completed rendering. Let's make a few more changes. We're going to select no color for the color fill source. Let's check here to show interior edges. Now click render. And basically what we're rendering here is an outline of our scene. Inventor finishes processing our request. Let's close the file. And let's go back to the general tab. Let's select the shaded render type now. For the camera, let's try a different view, say camera 1. Go to the Style tab. Let's uncheck True Reflection, just to speed up the rendering. Anti-aliasing, Low. And let's click Render. Here we're starting to see how camera 1's view appears. The rendering is now almost halfway done. OK, let's close this image. And let's check the perspective of Camera 2. Go to the General tab, Camera, select Camera 2. Now let's go to the Output tab. We'll opt for no anti-aliasing this time. Click Render. This is a significantly faster rendering than our previous was. Let's close and close the Render Image dialog window. And this concludes our lesson about rendering.